Hey there, welcome to DIY Projects with Pete. Today we're going to build a very simple bookshelf and we have a special guest. This is Paul Churchill from the Recovery Elevator Podcast and his podcast helps those struggling with alcoholism. And when he, when he let me know about the positive impacts that doing woodworking and other DIY projects has during the recovery process, I knew that I wanted to help because even if this project helps just one person out there, it's going to be a win and a success. Now, they say that alcoholism has one degree of separation, so there's a very good chance that you are affected by alcoholism or know somebody that is. So let's uh, build this project, let's have some fun with it. It's going to take people's minds off their addictions if they may have one, and um, it's gonna be a new challenge. So let's go ahead and get started, Paul. We started by sketching the design for the bookshelf and decided on a height and width to best fit the room. Then we gathered up tools and supplies. For the main tools and supplies, you'll want to pick up or borrow a saw of some sort. A drill and a sander. And for supplies, you'll need some wood screws. And glue. Take your time finding straight boards and then cut them down to size using a saw. We used a miter saw, but you could use a circular or a hand saw if that's what you already have. Cut the two long boards for the sides of the bookshelf. Next, cut six boards that are all the same length for the shelves. Next, sand the boards to smooth them out and to remove rough edges. Use an orbital sander or a hand sander with some 220 grit paper for the process. Then begin assembling the outside frame. Attach the top board flush within the ends of the two side boards according to the plans at DIYPete.com forward slash bookshelf. Apply a little glue to the ends and then get ready to attach the board. Pre-drill with a small bit and then use three inch wood screws to connect the boards. We used three screws for each connection. Now a common theme in recovery is it's not perfect. It's progress, not perfection. And just like my new woodworking project to get my mind off the booze, it's also not perfect. If there's a one eighth inch gap here and it's flush here, but I'm okay with that because it's not perfect and that's all right. We measured up three inches from the bottom and marked for the placement of the lower shelf. Once in place and even with your measurements, Go ahead and glue, pre-drill, and screw in the board from each side. Continue measuring up from the bottom of the vertical boards on each side to determine the placement for each shelf. You can double check the measurements as shelves are added to make sure the spacing is correct. The shelves for this project are about 13 inches between each other and spaced evenly. The process is the same for attaching each board, so simply line each board up to your measurements, double check that the spacing is correct and the shelves look level, and then glue and screw the board in place. Once all the boards are attached, do a quick sanding of the entire project and then prepare for the finishing process. Lay down an old tarp or newspapers to cover the work surface, and if you want to fill in the screw holes with wood putty, now is a good time. Then apply the wood stain using a rag and have a brush to get the hard to reach places and inside the screw holes if you didn't use wood putty. Apply one or two coats until it has the desired look you're going for. And we used espresso stain from Minwax. Then let the stain dry and apply two thin coats of polyurethane with a brush. This will give the bookshelves a finished look and a durable surface. Once dry, lightly sand if needed. Then let the bookshelf air out for a while before bringing it inside. And that's all there is to it. You can build this and by taking one step at a time, you can accomplish anything, whether it's a DIY project, recovering from alcoholism, or simply reaching the goals you set. All right, thanks so much for tuning into DIY Projects with Pete. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and that it inspires you to build your own bookshelf. Now, Paul, I really enjoyed having you on and collaborating, and I really respect everything that you're doing. Um, so where can viewers go to learn more about what you're up to? Well, thank you, Pete. You can go to recoveryelevator.com. You can also go to iTunes. In the upper right-hand corner, just search Recovery Elevator. You can find the podcast there. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.